Well, guys, the all-out Marxist assault on our kids is ramping up because we now have one of the UK's largest education publishers joining the BBC and others in full race-baiting mode. Pearson's Publishers has drawn up race and equality guidelines because the truth or reality are no longer good enough for them. It's even gone that mad that computer science books will have the terms master and slave removed, despite them obviously being vital descriptive references to some computer-related functions. They actually want to proactively include minorities as positive role models and force unconscious bias training on a rolling basis for all content production staff. I would say I don't know how this is a thing, but let's be honest, the world is completely mad. In fact, this is absolutely batshit crazy if you ask me. Personally, I feel the government should be removing them from any part of our education system. Remember, they claim to be stopping it in universities, well now is the time to stop it in relation to textbooks that could well end up in schools. Of course, I highly doubt the government will do anything about it though. All this race baiting bullshit helps them with the divide and rule strategy needed to be in government. You can't have an entire country's population banding together against the powers that be, can you? Anyway, The Telegraph has picked up on this, so let's have a look what they have to say. It headlines school textbooks to get Black Lives Matter makeover as Pearson launches new race guidelines. Well, technically, it's not really a Black Lives Matter thingy. Yes, the bullshit they started last year kind of spurred it on, but it's more along the lines of the shit that we've been seeing for years at this point, even long before Black Lives Matter arrived. It says school textbooks are to get Black Lives Matter makeover as Pearson says it intends to remove references to Master and Slave from all its major titles. Pearson, which owns the exam board EDXL and is one of the UK's largest education publishers, has drawn up its first ever in-depth guidelines on race and ethnicity. The company said its new editorial guidelines, which will be sent to all authors and editors, will help to fight systemic racism in education. Yeah, because changing the words to something is always going to fight racism, isn't it? What a fucking bunch of idiots these people are. It comes amid growing calls among academics and students to decolonize the curriculum, which have gained traction in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests last summer. No, they've only gained traction with lefty lobbies in universities and toss spots in the media. The rest of the country couldn't give a flying fuck. They are just trying to get on with their lives, which is especially hard in the current situation we're in, with the government pissing all over everyone and locking us in our homes. It says one of the series of updates Pearson's will make to its textbooks is to remove the use of terminology master and slave, which is used in engineering and computer science, to describe a system where one device has control over another. Pearson's has recently remediated instance of biased terminology and imagery in courseware based on student feedback, a spokesman said. Which obviously means if one student has complained about it, then they've changed everything, like that Tosspot headmaster I covered the other day. One student moaned about the naming of the houses in that school, and guess what? He changed them all to a bunch of woke lefty lovey Tosspots. It goes on, the company has already reviewed the content of 100 of its best-selling and most popular textbooks to check whether the use of master and slave or any other instances of bias that need to be amended in light of its latest standards. In other words, removing history and changing the way we speak. What the fuck is wrong with this world? Where is the asteroid when you need it, guys? Pearson explained that another example of bias would be a textbook containing an imbalance of a historical account, such as slavery not being mentioned in the reading text about the Civil War. Okay then, that's all fine. What about if you want to start mentioning the Barbary pirates in that? I bet you would soon pucker up your ass cheeks and start calling everyone a racist. So yeah, if Pearsons want to go down that route, we can happily do it, because many other cultures have done a fuckload more slavery than the UK ever did, regardless of what a bunch of tosspots might tell you in the media. Trust me, the Atlantic slave trade doesn't even hold a candle to some of the others. It says, under its new race and ethnicity guidelines, authors are told to proactively include more examples of people from minority ethnicities as positive role models. They are also advised that people who are depicted as being in a position of power, influence or authority should be from a range of nationalities and ethnic minorities, rather than being overly UK-US centric. So in other words, rather than being historically accurate if it's in relation to history, can you actually believe this shit? Oh yeah, of course you can, it's been going on for years. Writers are told not to make unnecessary distinctions between different people of ethnicities and that the idea that people from certain ethnic groups have abilities that are limited to any one arena. For example, textbooks should not have black male students engaging in sports or South Asian female students choosing academic pursuits. So you're not allowed to replicate what certain people might enjoy doing. Okay, what the fuck is going on with this world? Authors should be very wary of using terms like disadvantaged, depressed and vulnerable in relation to individuals or groups from minority ethnicities or religions. Ugh, what is actually wrong with these people? You are all a bunch of fucking idiots.
All content production staff should be given mandatory unconscious bias training on a rolling basis and that there just fucking says it all. What is actually wrong with these people? Are you fucking having a laugh? In my mind, if you run around demanding that people need unconscious bias training, then the chances are it's you that's probably fucking racist. I can't actually believe this shit. Now, obviously, I'm not even going to read any more of it. It's just got a fishing up bit about a bunch of toss pots that I really don't care. They're trying to justify it, and there is no justification for this in my mind. It's race baiting bollocks, no better than the BBC. Obviously, like I said at the beginning, the government should really be putting a stop to this, though like I said back then also, they probably fucking won't. In fact, they probably support it under the table. We're off! <laughs>